New research released today shows that the main fuel for worrying about our weight stems from our friends' bodies. So why are we still comparing ourselves to them? And how can we get in shape for that dreaded bikini or shorts weather? Well, I'm very pleased to say that joining me now is Holby City actress and yummy mummy. It's true, Tina Hobley. <laughs> to tell us Love a bit that more. Intro. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> well, I mean, you are the person to ask about keeping in shape. What, what is the secret? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I was quite surprised by that, um, the, the statistics of people comparing themselves to their skinny friends, because I don't. Generally, in the summer, everyone wants to feel good. And of course, we try a little bit harder before we are stripping off going on the beach. I mean, um, that all makes sort of common sense mm. and everything in moderation. Uh, I'm not into fussy diets or I'm not even a gym bunny. I like bringing exercise, good eating into my everyday lifestyle. So I walk as much as possible put my trainers on and put my lovely shoes in a bag and I walk everywhere. So if I can do six or seven miles in a day, I would like to do that. Oh. Uh, or cycling at the weekends with the kids, involving the kids. When I'm not working, I kind of want to be with the children or, you know, with the family. So I kind of need exercise to be part of my lifestyle. Mm, and I bet looking after the children is a bit of exercise in of course. itself. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, it is interesting because I know that a lot of people do compare themselves to people in magazines yeah. and this, that and the other. But I mm. guess, you know, some of my friends, it is quite motivational if they start working out. Hang on a minute. I better keep up with them. Yeah, true. Actually, it's not just women. Look. Uh, well, this is it. You see, it there isn't just the women. Now, what is your advice? You mentioned there about sort of uh, keeping fit. What's your advice to women when it comes to being comfortable in their own skin as someone, of course, who's in front of the cameras a lot? Yeah, I think, like I said, moderation. So during the week, I'll tend to be quite good. You know, I mean, I love to eat and drink as my, you know, I'd, I'd call it a hobby. I love it. Uh, but you have to, you know, in moderation. So if my husband does a lot of the cooking in our house, if he's cooking a meat dish, I'll tend to have the meat, try and lay off the carbs during the week. And at the weekend, I'll go crazy on carbs. I'll have whatever I want. And the same with alcohol. This is why, you know, this alternative to um, alcohol and the calories is quite a good idea. That's what I've brought out. You know, um, I like to keep that in my fridge because during the week I try to limit my alcohol consumption. Not always easy. So this would give me an alternative so I can still feel like I'm having a glass of wine, but without the calories and without the alcohol. Right, OK. I like the way you describe drinking as a hobby. I guess, <laughs> I guess the trick is to, to be happy, you know, everything in moderation, as you Absolutely. said. Absolutely. Treat yourself occasionally as well. And, you know, if you can have a couple of days being really good or, like, you know, Monday to Thursday, you know, don't give yourself uh, unrealistic um, expectations because mm, that, that's never going to work. Don't pressurise yourself too much. Because uh, there's all shapes and sizes out there, isn't there, yes. at the end of the day. And I was going to just uh, ask, actually, what are your top tips to help reduce our calorie intake uh, ahead of the bikini season? Yeah, again, you know, you have to listen to uh, your body and what works for you. I know that if I eat a bacon sandwich every day and I'm not going to feel great by Friday. Whereas if I save the bacon sandwich till Saturday morning and then I will enjoy it. And then I think just being aware, you know, the, the dreaded carb thing, it works for some people, it doesn't work for others. I know that too much carbs makes me feel horrible. Um, and again, too much alcohol, I know, makes me feel quite sluggish and not great. So I think just uh, keeping an eye on it and just uh, being aware of our bodies, listening to our bodies, but not getting too eaten up with it because then I'm unhappy. So if I'm unhappy, what's the point? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been <laughs> there myself, actually. I indulge too much. Yeah. Of course, the, the, the sort of after feeling of that isn't very good. But I've got to say, I think you're my ideal woman. You like a bacon butty on the weekends. <laughs> yes. This is the trick. Uh, you've got to enjoy life and, and earn it. So look forward to it now. Um, exactly. Of course, but what's this about you leaving Holby City? Tell us it's not true. Oh, it is true. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've done... <laughs> An incredible 12 years, which I can't believe it's flown by. I've had an amazing experience. Um, I've loved her to death, the character. But I just feel I've, I've kind of exhausted every storyline I can do on that programme. And you know what? I became an actress to try other things. Um, and I'm very excited about the future. I've, got, I've been meeting loads of people, loads of different um, types of projects that I'm talking about. So I'm kind of ready. It feels the natural time for me to move on and um, get out there and see what it's all about. Exciting times. Have you chosen which projects to go no. to? Are you allowed to say anything? No, I haven't say? chosen anything. I'm just looking at everything at the moment. Um, and hopefully I can do 
a combination of many projects, which is what you can't do when you're in a long-running um, programme like Holby. We film all year, um, the schedules are tight, so they, it doesn't really leave you any time to do anything else. So now I um, have the flexibility to go and do um, a couple of different projects per year, so that would be nice. Well, you must be in hot demand, so I guess you'll have a few choices on your doorstep to choose, uh, <laughs> to choose from. You're crossing your fingers there. Well, I'm you sure were you were my are. agent, Martin. <laughs> there you go, absolutely. I'd, uh, I'd line you up. So many choices. I'm, I'm sure they, they're, they're queuing up. Uh, we, we are talking about, of course, getting ready for the bikini season, the short season for, for the guys. Are you going on holiday this year? I am. I'm uh, finishing the second week in August and then me and the family are off uh, to Ibiza for a couple of weeks. And then I'm going on a, a, a detox uh, retreat spa camp place. I've never done anything like this. Let's see. Um, so I'm taking myself off there to do a bit of cleansing and... Uh, relaxing and getting ready for the next chapter. Absolutely. Probably good to do that after the Ibiza trip. But of course it is for families as well. And uh, and even the Prime Minister got there. So. Oh, it's wonderful. There we go. Yeah, we've, we, we love it there. It's a magical island. Absolutely. Well, we wish you an absolutely fantastic holiday. And of course, good luck with whatever you choose to do. Where can our listeners go for more information on this? Well, Sorrel have a Facebook page, so I think everything you need is on there. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us.